Hello and welcome to this lesson on language translation using Hugging Face and Python. In this lesson, you will learn to perform language translation using the Transformers library from Hugging Face in just three lines of code. The Transformers library provides thousands of pre-trained models to perform tasks on text such as classification, information extraction, vision answering, summarization, translation, text generation, and much more in over 100 languages. The library's aim is to make cutting is NLP easier to use for everyone. And today we'll be using this library. So first of all, let us install the Transformers library and its dependencies for language translation. So if you're in Jupyter Notebook right now, you can use the exclamation syntax followed by this command over here, which is pip install space transformers space sentence space space minus q and if you're using command prompt or terminal you can just write this command ignoring the exclamation syntax so this will install the transformers library from hugging face and its dependencies i won't run this right now because i have the library already installed but you can run this on your end and install the library on your machine next once the installation is done you can import the pipeline function from the transformers library so for that I'm writing from transformers import pipeline. So this means we're importing the pipeline function from the transformers library. I'll run this. And since I didn't get any error over here while doing the import, the transformers library has correctly been installed in my system. So if this line of code doesn't give you any error after the installation, then you have installed the transformers library correctly. Now the pipeline function that we've just imported does three things. First, it does some pre-processing. That is, it converts raw text input to numerical input for a given pre-trained model. And then it also makes a prediction using the pre-trained model that we specify. And finally, after a prediction is made, it converts the prediction to a proper output using post-processing. So the pipeline function or method will handle all of this for you. Next, let us see how to initialize the pipeline function. So in this case, I'm calling the pipeline function and I'm specifying two parameters over here. The first parameter is the task that we want to perform. And since this is language translation, we want to perform text to text generation. And remember, you have to write it in the same way as given over here. Then for performing this task, we want to load in a pre-trained model and this model will be specified in the model parameter given over here. So in this case, I'm downloading the pre-trained model from Facebook called M2M100. So M2M100 is a multilingual encoder decoder model that is a sequence to sequence model trained for many to many multilingual translation. The model can directly translate between 100 different languages without relying on English data. If you want to learn more about this model, I'll put a link in the description that points to the research paper as well as a blog publication from Facebook. So now we have our pipeline method over here that has two parameters, the task and the model. And once this pipeline method is called, we generate a text to text generation pipeline and we assign it to the variable pipe over here. So if I run this, this will take some time on your end because this code automatically downloads this model over here, which is Facebook's M2M100 model. And therefore you will have to wait a while. But once it is completed, your pipe variable will be assigned with the text to text generation pipeline. So till now we've just wrote two lines of code. First, we imported the pipeline function. Then we initialize the pipelines function with the given parameters. Now the final step, is to perform language translation. So in this case, all you have to do is write pipe, which is our variable over here. And in a set of parentheses, you have to provide two things. First, the text that you want to convert. And in this case, I'm just writing that is a flower. And the way that M2M100 model works is that you have to provide a post BOS token ID, which is the language that you want to convert in. And in this case, I just call the tokenizer attribute from the pipe variable, which is our text to text generation pipeline. And from the tokenizer attribute, I call the getLang ID method and specify the language as HI, which means Hindi over here. 
So if I run this line of code over here, it means that I want to convert this text to the language Hindi as specified by the forced BOS token ID. So I'll run this and there you have it. We have the translation for this sentence in Hindi and it says Ye ek fool hai, which means that is a flower in English. Now you can try something else. Let's say hello over here. And if I run this again, the generated text is Namaste, which is hello in Hindi. So this is how you perform language translation in Python using just three lines of code. You can even change the language over here. So let me change this to Chinese. So instead of HI, let's write ZH, which is the code for Chinese. And if I run this, you can see that we get some text over here. So I do not know how to read Chinese, but if I copy this and let's go to Google Translate. And if I print it over here, you can see that this is indeed hello, which is Nihao. Okay, that is it for this lesson. Stick around to the channel to learn more NLP implementations using Hugging Face and Python.